Welcome back guys. I have a special treat for you guys. Well, actually it's for my grandchildren. I got them a couple of mini bikes, one for each. And they're both Massimo, the MB200 model. This one, the one here in the front is Camo. And the one here in the back is a red one. We just picked them up at Tractor Supply and I'm gonna have to offload it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the straps, take out the box and see how I'm going to undo this metal frame. All I see is a bunch of bolts and stuff like that. So I should be able to roll it. Once I take everything out, I should be able to roll it down the ramp. But yeah, my uh, grandchildren, they don't know about these bikes yet. They're gonna be here a lot this summer and they're gonna help me with the land and this is kind of like a gift a gift for them so they can come more often and spend the time here on the on our little uh, homestead you know riding up and down the driveway and around uh, the trails I have a bunch of trails I have trails in the front trails on the back of the property oh they're gonna be happy they're gonna be Oh, they're gonna go crazy when they see this. They don't know, like I said, they don't know anything about this yet. This is all gonna be a surprise. Now this is a toy, but not for me, it's for them. It's gonna be one hell of a motivational tool, right? So here you go guys, it came in a metal frame, it looks like it's nicely wrapped in there or nicely protected. The front tires, yeah, tires need to be added and we need to add some air. Now it's just a bunch of bolts that I have to take out to undo this frame and then just roll it out. So these are really, really nice colors. Massimo Motor from from Texas guys so I dismounted one bike the camo I have to install the, the bars the handlebars add some gas now I'm gonna do the red one okay guys so bike number one is done so the back fender was under here I had to take it out and install it back there the handlebars there were a couple of brackets that go in here. This is adjustable. The brackets were inside. This kind of like glove box compartment. And there were more tools in there that I'm gonna be using in an instruction booklet and title. Took me maybe 15, 20 minutes to put it together. And now all I have to do, believe it or not, it's just add gas and take it for a spin and that one i'm gonna do tomorrow i mean right now the sun's going down it's about 8 p.m and i'm i'm a little bit tired from doing a lot of chores and working with the chickens and a bunch of other stuff around the house but i'm gonna finish that one tomorrow and i'm gonna record it for you guys so for you it'll be just a few seconds for me it'll be tomorrow so yeah the grandchildren things you do for family right this is not for me I know that some of you are thinking that maybe I could use something like this but no no uh, when I bought it I thought that only uh, a person that weighs 150 pounds or less can use it according to the instructions I saw online so that's that's definitely not me I'm a little bit above that well quite a lot I'm like 205 or something but I was a tractor supply when I was picking it up. The guy there that uh, that put it on my trailer, he said that these bikes can hold up to 300 pounds. I find that hard to believe, but you never know. 
maybe maybe I'll test it tomorrow yeah let me get out of here I have a lot of garbage here that I have to and but I'll do most of that tomorrow morning so what I'm gonna do once I build that one well maybe tonight what I'll do is I'm gonna put them in there so when the kids come in in two days and it's gonna be a surprise for them and since I'm here I might as well give you a garden tour which is awesome oh my what's today uh, July today is Wednesday July the 6th my pigeon peas are coming in strong stronger than I thought my gandules my wife's herb garden it's beautiful everything is growing faster and bigger than I thought uh, jalapenos I got tons of jalapenos already see how big they are they are now every plant has something Swiss chard kale I'm picking them up I'm picking yeah I'm cutting uh, some every day for my smoothies regular peppers King Arthur peppers tomatoes more peppers squashes potatoes flowers acorn squash it's out of control it's a good thing to have these are bigger than I thought they're taking over wow I'm impressed and let me show you I, I swear that every day I come out here these acorn squashes are bigger look at that one they get bigger every single day and makes me happy my tomatoes so what am I gonna do next year I'm definitely gonna build more boxes now I had to mention that these three boxes uh, the first three I made it's a mix of soil local soil compost peat moss and a little bit of organic fertilizer now the three back here one two and three they have compost peat moss and a little bit of fertilizer no regular soil I just wanted to test it out to see how how it went and let me tell you it's doing great all right guys so I'm gonna go to bed and I'll be back with you in just a few seconds yeah let me get this going I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleanup before the Sun completely goes down I'll see you in a few and one more thing before I go to bed tonight I am happy super happy to have this trailer back here and having installed the hitch on my SUV my wife's SUV because have you seen the prices of pickup trucks out there today Wow they're sky high and this saves me a ton of money for now this is working perfectly and I'm gonna use my car until the wheels fall off and I think it's getting close good morning guys it's the next day and time to set up the other mini bike I've already had about three cups of coffee and I feel good here they are that one's completed I need to add some gas and I hear wow oh three military helicopters you see them and guys I don't know if you can see them but there's a little bunny over there here you go guys here's the bunny again I'm gonna call him bad bunny that's his new name but just like the bad bunny in Puerto Rico that one cannot sing either all right guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re remove these two bolts and bracket so I can install the steering or the handlebar right here I was gonna say steering wheel but it's a handlebar all these bolts and washers I'm saving for future use on another project now I'm gonna remove the handlebar and take this plastic off and install it Okay, so the handlebars are on and I had uh, two small brackets that I had to use to install the, the handlebars 
and I used this Allen wrench that came with it. It came as part of a tool bag. There's a few tools inside as you can see. Everything that you need to install everything. Now, what I'm gonna do is the rear fender, it's under the front fender. It's right back here, so I need to cut this plastic and tape off and install it back there. These are plastic, so take care not to scratch or anything like that or break it. So there's two, two screws and nuts on this side and two on the other one. And here, there's a bracket that goes inside of the fender. So yeah, it goes on the other side. So I gotta take them out, gotta take the bracket out, take these nuts out, and put the new fender in. Now the next thing is to check the air pressure on each tire. You should be at 12 PSI. Now these were flat, the front ones were flat and I added some air as you saw yesterday. And this one in the back on the red one, that one was set to 42 for some reason. So that is wrong. I lowered it to 12 and that one was okay. That was 15, I lowered it to 12 as well. So. The next thing I'm gonna do is check this label here. I need to add gas, but it says right there, engine is shipped without lubricant. Blah, 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 add lubricant to the engine before starting for the first time. Use 15W40 oil. Do not add lubricant to gasoline. Unleaded fuel only, 87 octane or higher. Do not use E85. So I have this premium fuel, non-ethanol, 91 octane. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill them up now. All right, this one's full. And I'm gonna add fuel to the other one. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check for oil. I checked it a minute ago, and this one is registering oil. A little bit, and the other one is not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out to the store and get some 15W40 oil, add to both, and then turn them on. It's just barely registering. There's something in there. I can feel it, but not a whole lot. Okay, so we have oil, we have gas, everything's installed. We're ready to take it out on the road. So I'm gonna take the red one and I'm gonna test it out. Then I'm gonna take the camo and run that as well. It's kind of like my log splitter or lawnmower. Close the choke, you turn on, turn on the gas, all the way, then pull here, and once I turn it on, wait 30 seconds and open up the choke. Let's see. Oh, I have to put it on run right up here. That's why. All right, there's a button that you have to press to put it on run.
see this button here? You have to press it in in order for the engine to start. And it started with one pull after I turned it on. All right, now I'm gonna open up the choke all the way. scary for the kids in the beginning like it was for me just now you didn't see that but I'll keep that to myself all right so what, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna practice a little bit over there on the lawn in case I do fall it's a very real possibility Cycle. This is the closest ever. This is an upgrade over a bike, a regular pedal bicycle. But it's easy. The brakes are responsive, the gas is responsive, the bike is not too heavy. But I'm new at this, like so I have to take it easy. But I'm done testing this bike. Now I'm gonna get the other one, the camo, test it as well to make sure everything's fine. But when the grandchildren come in, hopefully tomorrow, to test them out. They don't know about this yet, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but I like it. First, turn it on. Choke all the way back. Turn the gas on. Let's see, I should be able to do this with one hand while holding the camera. Yep, there we go. First time ever. That's the way they're supposed to work. Oh yeah. All right, now open the choke all the way up and I'm ready to go. Thank you, but how do I... This is big. 
He's big. Oh, he's got a light. Can we ride this at night then? Oh, oh. this is heavy. You can ride night of this. Can I ride it now? Huh? Can I ride it now? But before you go any further, are you okay with the colors? You yes. like your color? You I love like candle. your color? I love hot. The seat is soft. Huh? The seat is soft. Yeah. Wait, is this thing I wore a jacket? Right, guys, so no, what, what, what do you something? think about the bike? Good. This is a it's motorcycle. It's a mini bike. It's, it's a mini? It's a, it's a mini bike, yeah. It's, not, a it's not full size. Now the plastic, it's a brand new seat, never been sat on. Take the <laughs> nah. You can take the plastic off. Uh, I'm going to make a phone first. There's a trash can over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Huh? Even in the hot time